I'm going to show you how to uh, see how many gallons of water are in your pool. And it's a very easy process. You just measure around the decking of your pool. And it's going to be width times length times the depth of the pool. And I'll go ahead and measure this one and let you know how I calculate that. So you just want to measure the width here. And this one is 15 feet. Um, it's about 15 feet wide. And I measured the length already, and it is 35 feet long. It's got a little indention here, um, but that's not a really major thing that throws out the math. It's not like a freeform pool. Now I'm going to check the depth of the deep end by sticking my pole in and extending it out and then measuring how deep the pool is. And just make sure you don't fall into the pool while you're doing this. So it's right there in the deep end. And uh, let me go ahead and get a measurement now. Okay, so I measured the pool, and it's 8 feet deep in the deep end. What we're going to do now, we're going to take 35 feet long by 15 feet wide, times that together. We get 525 square feet of pool. Take the depth 3 feet to 8 feet, so that's 11 feet, and we're going to divide that and get the average, divide it by 2. So the average depth of this pool is 5.5 feet. Take the Pool square footage, which is 5.25 times 5.5 feet deep, and that gives us 2,887 square feet. And then we times it by the amount of square foot a gallon of water holds. So a gallon of water, one square foot of water is 7.48. So times 7.48, and that gives us 21,598 gallons in this pool. This pool has roughly 21,600 gallons of water in it. Okay, so this spa is 8 feet round. I'll show you how to calculate the water volume in a circular pool or spa. Okay, and it's 3 feet deep at the middle, but it's only 1 foot deep on the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and average that together. So to calculate the square footage of a circular pool, you take pi, which is 3.14. You divide the uh, diameter in half, so times 4, and that's 12.5, and you times 4 again, which is 8 divided in half. And so the square footage of the spa is about 50 square feet. Now if you have a regular uh, above ground pool, there's probably going to be one depth, so you don't have to worry about averaging it. But 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2, so the average depth of the spa is 2 feet. So we'll take 50.24 times 2, which is 100, times 7.48, which is the number of gallons per square foot of water. And the spa has 750 gallons of water in it. Here's a very large freeform pool. So it's going to be pretty hard to calculate this particular pool, but I'll show you the method I'm going to use for this one. Okay, from this point, it's really not round or rectangular, it's more like a triangle. So this is a triangle uh, calculation I'm going to use for this. So the base was 30 feet, and the length was 50. That gives me 1,500. I'm going to divide that by 2. So that's 750 square feet, roughly. And the depth goes from 3 feet to 9 feet. And the average depth would be 6 feet. So I'll take 750 times 6, that's 4,500 square feet, times the amount of water per square foot. And this pool has about 33,600, so about 34,000 gallons in this pool. 